I love this. Um, Standard Auto Wreckers participated in a province-wide campaign to collect used tires, helping the environment, of course, but also making the dreams come true for deserving children through the Sunshine Foundation. David Gold is the owner of Standard Auto Wreckers, and he's here today to talk about it. Welcome. Wow, thanks for having me. You know, mm -hmm. people wouldn't automatically put uh, an auto wrecker together with the Sunshine Foundation, and yet... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really unique relationship, and it's, um, it's really centered around the Automotive Recyclers Association of Ontario, of which our company, uh, Standard Auto Records, is a big part of here in the city of Toronto. And a lot of good people looking to, you know, help and support really good causes. In this case, uh, the Sunshine Foundation, um, it's a foundation that has now gone across the country, established by a police officer whose son died of uh, multiple dystrophy, and... Mm -hmm. um, you know what what we've been able to do and the way we've been able to help that foundation it's it's unique and it it's crazy enough around tires and uh, and the programs that we have maybe you could tell us a little bit about you're based in Scarborough is that right correct tell us a bit about what standard auto records does absolutely we are a, we're a large processor of automobiles that have reached the end of their life um, due to natural causes and or due to accidents we take insurance write-offs and we process those vehicles for their scrap metal recovery and then a big part of what we do is we process them for their auto parts and being able to reuse the auto parts. Is, is every part of the vehicle recyclable? Yeah, it's a great question. About 95% of the vehicle by weight is recyclable. Wow. And um, even more over than the recycling aspect, you know, in the reduce, reuse, recycle equation, the better we are at managing our business, um, we are, have the opportunity to reuse parts like doors engines, transmissions, and they can have a new life in another donor vehicle. As without even having to do anything with them, just take them off and put them Correct. Out. They're original okay. OEM parts, so they're, the fit's going to be there. Um, more importantly, they're, they're priced right. Um, we call them green parts, and green recycled parts is part of our mantra in our association because, um, you know, it, it is a more purest form of recycling, be able to reuse this stuff. and. Consumers in the city and throughout the country can realize some great savings in their parts. All right, tires. What's going on with the with the tires? Where do they go, and and why have you decided to do something about it? Right. Well, tires um, is actually we turned a real big negative into a positive in this province. So, uh, it's been real proud to be a part of what they call the Ontario Tire Stewardship. Uh, this is basically uh, a program that was recommended from the Ministry of Environment and the Waste Aversion of Ontario was tasked with creating a program to deal with all these used tires. We're talking <clears throat> 12 million tires that uh, are sold every year to consumers and on new vehicles. And in the past, a lot of these were burnt. You know, we all oh. remember Hagersville, you know, and we have fires and um, breeding grounds for mosquitoes and stockpiles of tires. So this is actually the third anniversary today of the Ontario Tire Stewardship. And the program has actually seen in Ontario, the recycling of these tires to the tune of about 95%. And um, it's been tremendously successful because it h touches on all aspects of the recycling of the tire. And they are recyclable. These tires are, there's rubber in them, of course, there's metal in them, and then there's some fluff. And we've got some examples here. Yeah, these are good examples of what happens to a tire that's been recycled. What is this? Okay, so um, there are a few processes in the, in the tire program, and we have... Uh, what they call the stewards or the importers of tires will actually um, pay money into the stewardship foundation. So it's important to know this. There's no taxes involved here. These are tires that have come from collectors such as myself in the city where we send them to processors. And these processors turn this into, it's like sand, just mm -hmm. a little more coarse and granule. This is um, virgin rubber that is used in many products such as in you know hockey rinks and uh, mm -hmm. even in our paves uh, in our asphalt and our roads and so forth and it can be reused and it has so many benefits and really complements existing asphalt. Okay. Um, what you have here is mulch. They turn, oh, yeah. um, they turn these uh, tires into mulch and it's uh, again a great complement to your garden. It helps keep the actual soil uh, moist and it lasts for many many years this kind of stuff. Oh much better than the cedar mulch. Absolutely. But it no. looks just as nice. You can get it in different colors you too. You can get it in four different colors and even blue they say. Love it. Yeah. That yeah. would look weird on a garden. Yeah. Oh eh, heavy. <laughs> you know these are what they call pavers and um, they are used you know in your gardens. Mm -hmm. they're, um, they're great because um, the average person can go and actually cut these more seamlessly. They're easy to work with. 
they last a long time. They, they don't expand and contract and contort like bricks. And um, it's made out of 100% recycled rubber from tires. And as you say, they last so long. Absolutely. That's one of the most endearing qualities that the um, public really needs to know about. And then what's this baby right here? This here is... This is, the, is this the upside or the downside? This is actually the downside Okay, here. So, so it would be like, like that. that. <clears throat> and this is important for the playgrounds and there are communities uh, and so uh. forth. <clears throat> so when you fall, you don't maybe uh, hurt your head and so forth. It's got some give in it. And um, we use it in, in playgrounds throughout the province. And um, important to, ma to note that all these are made in Ontario, creating what we call green jobs. And you know, it reminds me about the Sunshine Foundation because these are kids who are struggling and uh, maybe it was an accident the falling on a playground. Who knows how they ended up in the position they're in. But the fact that you're able to help them by raising money through the tire recycling is amazing. You know, it really is. It's, it's a novel idea and it actually clears up a lot of misconceptions in our community because a lot of people feel that maybe they have to pay to get rid of their tires or there's um, you know, some sort of um, elaborate process to get rid of their tires. When it turns out, they can bring them into a recycler for this week-long period that we have every spring. And not only do they don't have to pay, they're actually supporting a great cause at the same time where recyclers, such as uh, all of us in our association, give up the fees that we get and we donate them to the Sunshine Foundation. Brilliant. And we so, can get all that information on your website, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of it is on uh, standardautorecords.com or uh, the Ontario Tire Stewardship is uh, greenmytires.ca. Thank you so much. Great information. Good job. Thanks for being such good stewards, oh. not just with tires, but in general. We appreciate, we appreciate you helping us get the message out. So standardautorecords.com. And now, here's one of our volunteers with your community events. Love it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Igor, and here are your community event listings. Check out the 2012 North York Great Front Gardens Award Night tonight at 